My name is Jeff Apple. I'm a vascular surgeon with cardiothoracic and vascular surgeons. Welcome to this introduction on carotid artery interventions. The TCAR procedure uses a smaller incision based more near the clavicle and also a small puncture wound near the vein in the groin called the femoral vein. This diagram shows the TCAR procedure initial access through that small incision at the base of the neck. A small IV or sheath is placed giving us access into the common carotid artery through a very small incision. The blood is then connected to a flow reversal machine and then returned after filtering to the femoral vein in the groin. This creates a negative flow reversal process so that any particles or debris in the carotid artery during the procedure are not allowed to go to the brain, but are actually reversed, filtered out of the body, and then returned to the body safely. This is a highly protective mechanism for stroke prevention during the carotid stenting procedure using the procedure TCAR. During the TCAR procedure, we do place a stent inside the plaque, pushing it to the side of the artery and allowing a smooth transition of blood flow through this area. This stent is very similar to coronary artery stenting procedures and femoral artery stenting procedures in the leg. We have a specially designed stent used for carotid arteries that has been tested here in the United States and is FDA. Root. The small incision at the end of the procedure near the clavicle is closed. The patients usually can be discharged the next day. They're usually up in the chair within two hours after the procedure. 